A prayer for God's grace at the end of the day. Heavenly Father, as the day is drawing to its close, I ask that your continued love and presence be with me and with all your children in Christ. Guard us through the long hours of darkness this night and keep us safe from all harm and dangers that may try to cross our threshold. Give us, I pray, an untroubled night of rest and quietness of heart. May we be refreshed and renewed in our body, soul, and spirit as we rest our weary hearts in you through the hours of the night. Lord, I pray that by your great grace and mercy, you would grant us untroubled sleep so that we may rise in the morning strong to do your bidding. May we all rejoice for the dawn of a new day, knowing that your mercies are new every morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Heavenly Father, I come to you once again to draw from your sufficient grace which you have promised to all your children and I pray that you will give me your perfect peace to guard my heart in these difficult times. Throughout my life, I have come to you in time of hardship and you have never let me down. Thank you that the length, the breadth, the height, and the depth of your grace are beyond my understanding and that your perfect peace is beyond my comprehension. And yet, you provide both grace and peace to all whose minds are stayed on you. I pray that in my weakness, I would know your strength. And in my sadness, I would know your joy. In pain, I will know your healing touch. And in these hard and difficult times, I pray I will know your amazing grace and your perfect peace deep within my soul. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, in a world that is becoming more and more alienated from you and increasingly critical of other people, I ask for your grace and understanding so that I may live a godly life in Christ Jesus and not be adversely affected by the divisions and disunity that may seem to infiltrate the church as well as the secular world system. Father, I know that the Bible tells us that in these end days, the love of many will grow cold and it seems that we are living amid a generation that has become cold-hearted, indifferent, unloving, and disinterested in their fellow man. Give me the ability to live in this world without being affected by its critical spirit and give me the understanding and grace to love others as Christ has loved me to consider the needs and desires of others as before my own and to value other people above myself even when I am the birth of their criticisms. May Jesus be seen in me and in all I say or do and may his love influence all I think and am. I ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Loving Heavenly Father, thank you that you have given unto us all that we need for life and godliness. But Lord, I also pray that you would grant me godly wisdom and the sufficient grace to navigate my way through life in the power of the Holy Spirit. You have called us to be wise as serpents and yet to be gentle as those. And so I ask for your practical wisdom, gracious sensitivity, 
and wise discernment so that I may be enabled to identify what it, what is from you and what is designed to trip off your children in these end times and even deceive the very elect of God. Father, I know that in these last days, the church is going to be flooded with spirit of deception and with many unbiblical teachings. And Lord, we appear to be in this position today. But I praise you and thank you that I am in Christ, who has become for me the wisdom of God. I praise your name that I am in Christ clothed in his righteousness and redeemed by his precious blood. Grant me, I pray, that sufficient grace and godly wisdom that only comes from you, so that I may live as unto the Lord in a world that has rejected you. Fill me, I pray, with your Holy Spirit, so that I may act justly in love and in mercy and walk humbly before you all the days of my life. This I ask in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for the grace to believe you and to accept your Son, Jesus, as my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father, for the privilege to be called your Son and not a slave and for making me a heir and joint heir with Christ in your kingdom. Thank you, Father, for the abundance of your grace over my life, because if you are to max sin, none shall qualify to stand before you. Father, please forgive all my sins and blot out all my transgressions in Jesus' name. Father, I surrender all to you today. Take over my life and use me for your glory. Dear God, grant me an accelerated divine knowledge and wisdom in all things and all learning. Father, make all things new in my life and perfect all that concerns me. Dear God, in all areas of my life, let me reflect your true image in holiness, in love, in giving, in compassion, in honesty, in faithfulness, in diligence, in fruitfulness, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, please keep me pure and holy at all times at your presence. Let me see you and be like you. Dear God, release upon my life an abundance of your grace to live holy and help me never abuse that grace in Jesus' name. Father, let me enjoy the grace of your sonship forever in Jesus' mighty name we pray.